uh, hi everyone and uh, welcome back so here we are writing restaurant controller restaurant menu services so let's take a look, take a look on restaurant controller i just copied the the previous controller and just pasted it now we will actually add things which are missing here okay so what i'm saying is i want my api to look like api v1 and restaurant okay so this is what this restaurant controller tag will do okay now i need a authorization because yes my apis will be protected so i will need authorization and here i'm using validation pipe globally on this controller so that my dto's will be validated and i will be using a service like a restaurant service restaurant service i have created so i injected that dependency injection here so this service i will just replace it with the restaurant service yeah so what we are doing is we have a service we did a dependency injection now this api tags these are actually predefined tags just to see all these things on the api stack because we are generating swagger using code right so these all tags like it will create a restaurant tag the api operation i mean the description what this api does uh, this is a unit validation pipe i mean you don't need a validation pipe here once you have defined it globally http status code what status code this api will return uh, what will be the api ok response api internal server response api bad request response these are some default API spec will say okay this API is expected uh, to send either 200 either 400 or internal server error response right these are these are the expected response and here on the get get restaurant right so we are calling get restaurant service dot get all okay we don't need to do any we are not providing any input to just okay give me all the, the restaurant list here we have another get restaurant by UUID so we have to create these details what these details contains let's create one restaurant.dto.ts okay so this is restaurant.dto.ts and what we can do is export class restaurant by id what it will contain is uh, let's say public id and this is of type string all the validation like like this id should be of type uuid that you can add in the api property i mean once this will also be exposed in the apis i mean on the swagger so we can use this api property tag to just define what it will contain like description and required is true okay so we can import the these things okay similarly we will also have more details this dto is fine okay let's just save it and import it this is when you want to do the get by id and this will be your path parameter right because you are passing this id here path parameter once we want to do the create right in the create we are going to have a lot of things create restaurant param so we'll define it here export class And here we are going to have a lot of properties for creating the restaurant. So let's create them. I will just and I will keep changing these. Okay, now let's see the restaurant entity. What all input we need for the restaurant. Before creating the restaurant, we need to have an address because uh, we also want to either you create the address first and then pass the restaurant ID or you create the address on the fly and set the address ID. In the restaurant so let's set the id name website what are known not null right so that also we need to check website is nullable true let's add this because it's not necessary that every restaurant will have a website about us should be there name should be there 
these are not null true and these are just a relationship address need to be there right so what do we have is we can take address as an object address as another DTO okay restaurant menu let's name website about us okay name website about us what else we need website about us and we can have an address as an object okay that we will consider as an object and we will also add the validations on address part uh, that should be fine okay now name is of type is string and we can also add a minimum length minimum length of two website is optional so what we will do is we will add optional first so what what it will do is if you are not providing then that is fine if you are providing then that should be of type string and minimum length should be of four you need to understand these validations website is optional about us is yes must and minimum length is four i mean you need to provide at least some description and this address address can be of nested type right so what we will do is we will create address as another type here we can do export class address dto okay in the address we are going to have a few fields which is like uh, street city uh, state uh, and then lat long all these properties we are going to have in the address so it's better that we should create it as a separate dto i mean this is like a nested validations we are going to have for this right so what we will do is uh, here we will add this as an address as a separate type we will create separate type okay and then we will pass it so first of all let me import all these things which are missing add missing imports okay this is sorted now address so for address we can have a separate dto and uh, in that address let's see how we do it so first of all address should be of a quad right let's say we can take address as an array if you want to define the multiple address or a single address let's say let's call it as is object it's not appearing is object first and uh, object minimum size let me see is object is there since uh, address should be of type object and we are doing the nested validation here so this is important so what we'll do is validate nested validate nested And validate type these are important important when you want to do the the nested validation so here we will do do validation type okay, sorry sorry why it's why it's not coming validate type and uh, this is like we are actually dependent on another type right address dto validate nested so this address dto has these properties now we can define all the properties for this address validate type we should be getting from class validator let me just check okay this is coming from class transformer okay i missed that point we should have either this module validate type this is actually used for uh, nested object validation so address is a nested object we can't do just plain is string menu length or something right and this is of type address dto and address dto can have further fields right first of all this should be object and now for address all these validation criteria will be defined here okay so in address what all we need to have is 
we can just have like city state and all these things so i will just copy and paste all these things uh let's see we need to have a street state region that we need to match from what do we have in our uh database okay let's go and check the address entity we have street address house number landmark city street address house number landmark street address house address city and uh, position is a JSON B object restaurant address that is fine this is what we need uh, position we can also have a postal code let me just add this also it can be nullable true and we can also have a state city state uh, position okay it is fine now uh, landmark city here we will have a state country is optional because we are going to we are not building it internationally and this is our position position will be of type object here also you can do the nested validation but i am not in the mood of that this is of type object i will just say okay this should be of type object state is string which is optional this is optional city and house number cool so we have added the validations for all these required uh, details format document cool so what we are taking is we are taking this param as an input in the controller when you say this what it means is we are going to validate the data against all these right you are passing this create data okay that you are passing also the restaurant similarly we can have update forum now in update what do we have is all the properties will be optional the create means everything is required but in update you might be updating a one or two attribute out of it so restaurant dto what i always do is I extract out the optional properties from here and I create the update one update restaurant forum so first of all ID should be there ID means the restaurant ID need to be passed because based on that we will be doing the update easy UID okay now there can be uh, any other parameter which you are passing right it can be name website and all these things so we'll just put them but these are optional properties we are going to have we can optimize it in a bit like putting a base class and putting all the optional properties there so here i need to add is optional everywhere and here also we need to fix these required true these are required false wherever you see is optional put the required false there without even asking so here is optional as some kind of like this but this is too much we are doing for the validation using class validator and next yes is built on top of this next yes validations are adopting this class validator is optional is optional everything is optional required is only id and uh, at least the name name can be we can make uh, okay no need it will not update anything yes this is fine so in update call we will be using this update param let's go to the controllers and we can put this similarly now we have a delete right we will not be providing this delete feature but yeah in this restaurant param by id it contains the id right id we are passing and we are passing this to the service now what all these services are doing we have this restaurant service dot get all we have to actually create the injectable repository so 
if you have the entity you can create a repository out of it like restaurant restaurant repository and here we will can import all these missing imports you can see the create one now i already have these basic things but we will actually fix these okay first of all let's talk about create restaurant in the data what do we have we have a lot of things in data we have a name website blah 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 all these things right so we'll wrap uh, try put a try catch wrapper first so if there is any data validation error it will actually directly throw 400 bad request otherwise we can handle few few errors so errors okay now we need to this is not tag repo restaurant repo so this tag repo we can just do control c control f yeah so this dot find dot find one these are actually type rm methods which, which will help you to just do the query find it is just like get all find one it will do based on the id find one where id is this find by id you are passing the id right delete it will just directly destroy this record okay create now we are getting the record and we, what we are returning is promise of restaurant right even if you see every method should return uh, something in our case it should return a promise of restaurant array here find by id it should return a single restaurant it can return undefined also because it's fine it, it's it's not necessary that you are passing the id correctly here okay we are returning correctly all the other things because we are writing typescript so we need to take care of these things okay now we have a data first of all we'll create a restaurant there are different ways of doing this you can actually create the repository this dot restaurant repo dot create so it will give you the empty object now you can set all the things whatever you want to add restaurant dot about us right so what i always do is i actually mix up both the objects we are getting the data and we are getting the restaurant right so first of all we also need to create the address if you have not forgotten we can actually create a public async create address further we will modify it and we will put it in the address service okay this should return a promise of an address entity and we already know if you if i wanted to access the address repository i will be creating the repo first so instead of restaurant repo i will be accessing address repo okay just import this from the address entity are we correct here import default address repo now because i will be working with address repo here so let's put this try catch okay i will be returning something so address equal to address repo dot create and then const payload equal to i actually concat both the things i already have address and from here i will get the data so here you will be calling with this dot create address and you will be passing data dot address which is required field right so zero argument here yes we have a address which is of type address dto I got the address, so I will actually concat this address with address data. We'll just modify this. 
Now what I will do is I will just concat this with this and we will just use await this dot uh, at Okay, so here we are. Uh, what I did is uh, we are creating the restaurant repo and then I set these arguments. And then explicitly first I'm saving the restaurant and then that restaurant I'm passing to the address entity because address need to have a foreign key as a restaurant. So here restaurant and then I'm setting the restaurant to the restaurant address. So this will define the foreign key of the restaurant in the address entity. Okay. So this is the create address. Once we are done with both of these, we will return the new restaurant. Okay. So this is a create. Now get all, which will just give you all the restaurant, find by ID. You can just do the restaurant by ID. Get by ID is, okay, you just do the find. It will give you the restaurant. Okay, delete. For delete, you need to first find, find by ID, data.id. If there is a restaurant, then delete it. Otherwise, invalid ID, restaurant ID provided. Right, we will just throw not found exception, update. Update is first we have to find the restaurant. If restaurant is there, you can update whatever the we have in the payload, right? So here also we can do the same thing, const payload equal to, uh, this is our existing restaurant, right? This is our existing restaurant and we will get the, the new payload from this data. And we'll just pass this payload. So this will do the update, but there is always a deep partial error. So what we can do is uh, let's do this manually. I'm not doing this way because there is an address entity is in this payload, which is not required. I mean, which should not be there. So here restaurant dot name. If name is there, then we have only three fields. So we'll just update them manually. Website. If you are passing any website and description I think that is the ESC or something update restaurant param you are passing me website okay this is about us not that And then you pass the same restaurant object because we have modified it and this will just update your entity right update restaurant so here we just have a crud operation on the restaurant service now this can also be exposed through the swagger this is the restaurant controller and now we can talk about restaurant menu because this is uh, kind of done right so api tags we can use the restaurant menu Right, that, that, that we already have and we are going to create restaurant menu service. So we have restaurant service. What I will do is I will just do the copy paste and I will create a restaurant menu service. And then we'll modify things whatever is needed. Here restaurant menu service repositories we need is restaurant and restaurant menu. These two things we need and repository we are going to access menu because it will it will help us to create menu for restaurant right so what we need restaurant is already created you pass the restaurant id and you create the menu for that restaurant this is what we are going to have and we also need to have a control on the cuisine type and the meal type so we'll create enums for them so we don't populate the invalid data in the database Okay, create restaurant param, all these things will get changed once we define the controller, restaurant menu controller. This is restaurant menu service, we will just import it. And we will just say menu service. And we will just replace this with the menu service. Okay. So this is restaurant menu controller. First of all, the name of the controller should be unique. Okay. Otherwise it will not be able to create these routes. Uh, this controller name is menu. So first of all, it should be like, uh, okay, we can have API. So how it will be built? It will be built something like this API v1 menu, right? But what we want is API v1 restaurant 
then you can add a menu and all these things right what i will do is because these are the rest resources right a restaurant is a resource menu is a resource so let's keep it as a restaurant and here we will change it in the api get here we are passing the restaurant id and then we are creating the menus keep it plural restaurants particular restaurant and then get the menu of a particular restaurant right so restaurant restaurant id and the menus right similarly if you are actually uh, get restaurant menu by id here we are actually getting all right so menus here it will change to menus and we can call it as a menu id okay we are actually getting the individual menu detail similarly this one will be a restaurant id here what you are doing you are actually creating it right so restaurant id restaurant id and menu and this is the post that should be enough similarly the same thing we have for put here we are passing everything in the payload right so it will be put like if you want to update things then we'll be passing the id of menu id in the payload and here it is delete delete will be restaurant id and the menus and menu id right in this particular restaurant i have all the menus and i'm deleting this particular menu id and here we are passing that menu id in the payload cool now what we need to do is start writing the code okay id menus that means i want to get all the all the menus from a particular restaurant we can also just get uh, the find by id but we don't want to get all the menus we want to get the menus menu of a particular restaurant only right so here we are passing this id so we can have some dto created for this which will just validate okay this id should be of uuid restaurant menu param by id okay let's call it as a restaurant param by id i think we already have this dto created we should make sure that whatever the the params we are passing is an id that should be of id okay and we can just say params dot id so we'll do get all that we will modify later here we are creating the get i'm trying to get a particular menu id so i need to have a two dto's one is a dto for now this is this should be a little tricky how we are going to accommodate both the details okay yes we can what we can do is let's uh, just say restaurant menu param by id we already know okay let's go there this is a restaurant param by id and we'll just create a copy and it will have a two arguments instead of one because there are two ids restaurant menu this is id and another is a menu id okay of type string of type uuid that will take care of these things we go to the controller now this is holding two values one is the id which is the restaurant id and another is the menu id we'll pass the params only instead of extracting the id here this is get by id now we need to actually do the query first you need to fetch all the menus of restaurant and then particular menu id right so you need to do some kind of a join here and then here is the put call create right uh, now it should be like you are passing the body and also the params right route params so route params will be for restaurant id that should also be valid so first we are saying that whatever you are passing in the params is valid and then create menu restaurant uh, okay, create restaurant menu param this we can define here we will define all the menu items that we will do in the restaurant dto 
so export class and we already know what we need to add in the menu menu entity so let's go there here we are saying price cuisine type description all these things right so what i will do is let me do this offline all the details and once that is done like the restaurant controller restaurant menu controller and menu service we will connect together and we will see how this is working okay uh, thanks everyone